Ashley here, welcome back to Dress to Jet. In this episode, I'm going to share a huge clothing haul from my trip to Europe. So when I go to Europe, um, there's just a lot of stores over there that I like, so I really like, really have to clean out my closet when I come home. Cause I pretty much replace maybe like a third of my wardrobe when I go on a trip like this every uh, few years. So get comfortable, cause it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> so I'll do my best to keep kind of um, things segmented to what store I bought them in and what country I bought them in, just so you have an idea. Um, I will link all of the um, all of the clothing companies below. Um, and if you want to see um, some of my vlogs for my trip, I will link those below and I'll put one up there for you. So let's get started. So we'll start off in London. Um, I went to Camden Market where I had a lot of good luck finding things. So the first item was just a, one of the, um, it wasn't a stall, but you know, you just go through Camden Market and there was just different, so many different areas of vendors and stuff. So I actually don't know what the place was called, but um, I can tell you what the brand of the clothing was, but I can't remember like the place that I bought it, what it was called. So this brand is Lily J London. Um, and it's basically just a long sleeve blouse uh, with a lot of lace um, and then seat like floral lace. It has the floral design and the arm part of it is sheer. So you can see your arm through um, through the lace on the sleeves, but not in the um, trunk area. And it has a really cute, um, another trim of lace around the collar. And I just thought this was adorable. So I love lace, so lace on lace on lace with the collar with lace. Yeah, I was definitely gonna get this. And then at that same place, um, this you know, they definitely had a look. And this is the same brand. I haven't worn this yet, so the tags are still on it. But it is basically a, lacy um it's definitely i would say a jacket it's definitely not a coat it's not a sweater it's it's a jacket um and it's quite thick and it has the the double buttons all the way down and it's got um it kind of pleats out at the bottom it's got pockets and um some bows here so it's definitely um more of a jacket type thing but i just love the color and again I love the lace around the trimming around the collar, which is obviously something that this brand has a lot of because it's I love it. So uh, yeah, I haven't worn it yet. It hasn't quite been cool enough, but I'm excited to start wearing it. So the next booth I went to had a lot of vintage inspired dresses and clothing. So I was all over that and sorry, I can't remember the name of it either, but uh, I will show you the dresses that I got. So the first one is this uh, navy, um, blue navy and dark green like a hunter green dress um and it's it looks stripes on the top it's pretty it is it is mostly stripes on the top but as you go down you'll see that it's um a plaid so it turns into a plaid um once you get past uh the the waistline there and it's has little um things here um and it comes with a matching belt that's the same pattern which is nice and this is just so adorable. And I don't know, I don't think this one has pockets, which you can't get everything, you know, you can't, all your dresses can't have pockets, unfortunately. But I love this, I've already worn it a ton, and I just love the, the collar, so I, I wear it buttoned all the way to the top, and it's adorable. So the next dress I got from the same location was this really cute dress, um, kind of the gray and orange pattern here, orange piping, very orange collar, and also orange cuffs. Um, and it just basically goes down to uh, past my knees and has really cute kind of black and gold designed um, buttons here. Yeah, and it just basically is a, is a simple below the waist. It just goes same pattern, goes down to below my knees. And then it came with kind of this like uh, roped belt that works pretty well with it. But of course you can switch it out with, I can switch it out with whatever belt I want. But this is um, it was a, a different one that I don't see many dresses like this so um, that I come across. So I was excited for this one. So the last dress I got at that vendor at Camden Market was this kind of picnic uh, looking uh, outfit. It looks like a picnic blanket. So for it's the blue and white pattern. And it has just like big buttons um, and it has really cute, let's see if I can show you, really cute pockets in the front, which kind of sold me. They're just big pockets in the front. They have like kind of like they're not quite a bow, but it looks like the the uh, pocket has a little collar. So those those are really cute. That was a really cute detail that I loved. And she gave me, it didn't come with a belt, but she did let me pick just a, a white belt to go with it if I wanted. So that was nice, she just gave that to me. Uh, yeah, 
So um, this is, I love this little pattern. Um, and this will be so cute to have a picnic in. So the last dress I got in Camden Market was quite a surprise because I just stumbled upon a collective store. And I didn't even know that they had a location there. Uh, so I ran in, of course, it was two stories. And I was so excited. But unfortunately, not everything worked or they didn't have a lot of my sizes. So I only got one thing, but this I, one thing I'm very excited about. So it's this red dress. It has a little, um, little cut out for the neckline, but the stunner of it is the design that goes around the bottom of the skirt. So this is it. And it's basically just different sites of London. There's the London Eye there you can see. Um, there's someone walking with an umbrella, lots of rain, um, Tower Bridge, I mean, just the, and like the telephone boxes, Big Ben. Um, it just goes all the way around the dress and it's so vibrant and pretty and I just like, have to have this and wear it at home because London's my favorite city. So um, I was really excited to find this. So this next place I was super excited to visit. I followed them on Instagram for quite a long time and I was so excited to be able to visit their brick and mortar store when I was in London. So this dress I got from Revival Retro Boutique in London. And unfortunately a lot of the stuff I thought was cute there had a wool in it. So as a vegan, I don't buy wool. New, I don't buy it new. Um, so I did come away though with this real gorgeous emerald green. Green is my color and I really don't have enough of it. I really should wear more of it. Um, and it has a silk, I think it's just made of, um, let's see. It's 100% polyester, but it really has like a silky feel to it. Um, and it's just cut really beautifully. You can see kind of like the pleating there in the chest. Um, and it gathers very well around the waist. And then it just falls very beautifully down to past your knees. And it's kind of a quarter length um, sleeve here. And you can just see like, the shimmer of it. It's so pretty. So um, I was really happy that I found something there because I love their store and the girls are so nice. So that's all I got in London. I really didn't find any clothing in Paris, which is shocking, I know, but I had a great time there. But when I got to Belfast, I really made up for a lost time. So for what I bought in Belfast, I'll just start with the most random casual thing that I happened to find, but I couldn't leave it there. Um, in Topshop, um, they actually had, um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm a big Cavs fan. So they actually had a Cavs hoodie and I have several of those. So I didn't want to, I didn't, it wasn't that, that nice. And I was like, there's no point in me bringing this big hoodie home. I already have those, but I did spot these Cavalier uh, sweatpants. So it has a little emblem C there and calves down the leg. And I thought these were so cute and comfy. I don't have any um, calves stuff like this, no bottoms. Um, and they're just, you know, something to lounge around in, but I thought they were super cute and finding calves stuff in, um, in, in Ireland was just too funny. So I just um, had to bring these home. So one store that I was super excited to visit in Belfast was called Rose and Brimstone, and it's a vintage inspired clothing store. So I was all over that and so happy to like get in there. Uh, and I got two dresses from there. So the first one is a simply cut, but a really bright and fun pattern. And it's just like this like map uh, globe print and it has just a tie that goes around um, and it's a pretty pretty simple cut uh, but it, I just saw this pattern and I was like yes this is this is gorgeous I have to um, you'll be seeing this a lot on this channel probably because it's just it's so on brand the vintage vintage design dress with the travel pattern so I had to get it so the second dress I got at Rose and Firmstone is this gorgeous dark red dress with kind of a square neckline and a, this kind of collar that's lined in black black buttons, a big black belt, and it's so thick and beautiful it falls. And then it has this kind of black piping on the bottom and it has pockets. So that was so much fun to discover that. So I love this dress. I've already worn it. I wore it to a fan of the opera uh, performance in San Francisco. Yes, I went in London beginning of September and then I went in San Francisco at the end of September. So getting all my, my phantom performances in. Uh, so I just loved wearing this there and it's so pretty and I this is one of my favorite dresses I got on my trip. So the next place I stopped by is called New Look and it's basically just a chain clothing store in the UK and their sweater game was strong. I was like, oh, sweaters take up so much room and I have to bring all this stuff home, but I just can't leave these sweaters behind. So I got three sweaters and a pair of pants there. So let me show you. So the first sweater I got is this like mustard and then black and white stripe. It's a, it's a cropped um, kind of sweater. I mean, this is, not a really thick sweater, but um, but but still, it's a sweater. So I just 
loved the design. I loved that it was cropped. So uh, this was my first sweater that I picked up. To continue on that mustard trend, I got this one, which is a little bit thicker, but it's so soft. Um, and it just has a little, a little uh, kind of turtle length going on. It has quite wide sleeves. They're not exact, not quite bell sleeves, but they, they are quite wide. Um, and it's a little bit cropped, but not as much as the other one. And it's just so comfy and warm, and I love the color. So this was another one. But the last sweater I picked up, it was the biggest one. I was like, oh, I love this. I'm just gonna have to make room to bring it home. So it's this big, oversized, long sleeve. I mean, this thing's huge, and it's just a striped sweater. It's super comfy and soft, and I was just so excited. I was like, yes, as soon as it's sweater weather, this thing is going on. And I just love a big, comfy sweater, as you know, so I just couldn't turn this one down. So the last thing I got any look with these pants, and they look like dress pants. Uh, they are, I think it's mustard again here. It's either a, like a brown, a gold, or a mustard color, um, and then black and white does, uh, pattern. And they look like dress pants, but they feel like pajama pants, which was a main attraction for me. They have elastic in the back, they have pockets, um, and they're so soft and comfy, but they look really nice on. And they, and they, they I wear them to work, uh, but they really feel like pajama pants. So. I love the design, I love the pattern, so I was so excited to find these. We're nearing the end, I promise. So we have one more store to go over, um, but it is a big one because that's where I do most of my shopping when I'm over there. So my favorite store to go to when I'm visiting Belfast is called Oasis. And I just love the stuff they have in there. Um, and it's nice when I come home that nobody has it because we don't have the store over in the States. So, um, but everything that they have in there, I just love. So I get a lot of stuff when I'm over there. So. I guess we can start with a sweater. More sweaters, if <laughs> I love a good sweater. So I got this kind of lilac lavender sweater. This is quite thin. Um, I mean, it's warm enough, but it's not It's not a big, thick sweater. And I just loved the kind of design on the front, the um, kind of threading. And then it has um, an interesting neckline, kind of like a crocheted neckline. Um, and I liked the, I thought the color went really well with the style, and I just thought it was adorable with like a skirt or something. So. Um, I was like, yes, I'll have that, please. So the next sweater I got from Oasis is it's pretty basic, but I still like couldn't resist it. And it's this uh, just plain um, gray sweater. It does have some details that were nice. It does have some, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it does have some stripes here in the fabric along with on the um, cuff and on the bottom. So it does have some um, uniqueness to it. And it's just so soft. When I felt it, I was like, oh, I love the color gray and I just loved it. Um, I loved the feel of it. And I did like that it had a little bit of, um, a little bit of style to it with the, um, the striping on the front and it's on the back as well. So I liked that detail and um, yeah, it was great. So another semi-basic top that I got, it was this, this black top. It's very soft though. It just feels very nice. It's a plain black top with a, uh, white collar and that that's really all there is to it. It's long sleeve. Um, I just think it'd go really well with a lot of my vintage skirts um, And I wear a long sleeve a lot at work because they keep it so cold. So this I can wear this all year round and uh, Yeah, I just I loved the contrasting collar a lot and I can go with a lot So the next step I got kind of went along that same thought process and it's this really adorable like light pink top it's kind of like a quarter length and it has such beautiful detail it kind of look, it seems like a crochet design in the front and then it has ruffles on both sides and in the back it ties with these um straps so it looks you can make a cute little bow um so i was thinking these would go great with all of my skirts um because it's just freaking adorable now moving on to some skirts i got two skirts from oasis um and they both are plaid because i love a good plaid skirt oh that's my weakness so I got this kind of schoolgirl looking um, skirt, uh, black, black and white, and it has the little, it doesn't pleat at all, but it has the design that makes it look like it pleats. So that's just kind of an illusion, but it looks like a pleated skirt, and it's really thick and soft, and I just thought it would just be so cute. So I'm a big fan of anything with buttons down the front, um, especially when they, they are like this, they're like sets of buttons, um, down coats or pants, skirts, anything. So I definitely was drawn to this because of that and the um, pattern. And it's basically just a, like, has one big pleat in the front and it's just a plaid skirt. And I've worn it to work a few times already and it's adorable. It has like black 
kind of silky style piping around the top and it has um, it down by the by the buttons as well and um, I was just really excited to find this because it was so adorable and perfect for fall. So corduroy is very popular in the fall but I love it all year long like I can't get enough corduroy so I'm always on the lookout for stuff so I found this very dark navy probably looks black on camera but it's, it's a dark blue um, corduroy kind of dress and it has um, pockets in the front which you might not be able to see but it's just a beautiful corduroy dress sleeveless and um, I couldn't corduroy dress I had to have it I also found like the perfect top to go with that since it's from the same store like a lot of the colors match right so I found this navy and some other colors blue a tans um, long sleeve shirt that has uh, ruffles on the shoulder area and some very minimal ruffles um, on the sleeve there uh, and it, it's a cute sweater no matter what but it goes perfectly underneath that um, corduroy dress so I wear these together a lot okay last two things I swear um, and it's basically the same thing it's a, a dress and a top that I found at Oasis that went perfect together and I so I wear them a lot together um, but I'll show you the, sh the top first so it's basically just this kind of burgundy quarter length and again this will go with a lot of my skirts perfectly and it kind of has like a checkerboard design there um, same every one color but you can kind of there's some texture there um, and again this will go with a lot of my skirts but what I had my eye on for it to go with is my last item so the last item I got on vacation is this gorgeous tan plaid dress uh, sleeveless and it has like the waistline there pockets here the set of buttons and one big pleat in the front similar to that uh, skirt that I showed you uh, and it's just gorgeous and it goes perfectly with that uh, burgundy shirt I just showed you they make the perfect outfit and I was just so excited to find this okay so that's all I got on my trip it's a lot I had to clean out quite a bit of closet space when I get home but it was so worth it because I love everything that I got so much uh, thanks for sticking around through this video I know it's quite long and I showed you a lot so appreciate that if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. So the next vendor that I went to had a lot of um, kind of... Uh... So I was super excited to visit this next place. So, uh, Revival Retro. I want to say Retro Revival. I was really excited to visit their store. Revival... And that's Retro Vi Revival... So one store that was really excited to... <clears throat> so the last item that I wore to... Mmm. <laughs> mmm.